Hello? Hey, Lauren. I'm Alex, an AI recruiter at John Muir Health, calling to ask a few questions about your oncology and infusion RN application. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Awesome. We'll go over a mix of intro and role-specific questions. How does that sound? Sounds great. Awesome. Let's get started. Do you have a BLS certification from the American Heart Association, or can you obtain it before starting? Um, I do have one. I just got it renewed a couple months ago, so I should be good for a while. Great. Sounds like you're all set on that front. Next, do you meet the requirement of having a California RN license? I do. I already have my California license. Awesome. That's good to hear. Now, are you comfortable accessing and maintaining a central line? Yes, I have a lot of experience working with um, single win, lumen and double lumen ports and pick lines. I've done plenty of those, so I feel very comfortable with that. Great to know you're experienced with that. How would you handle and stabilize a patient experiencing an adverse drug reaction during an infusion session? Um, because that's always a risk, especially with such toxic and scary medications, um, I try beforehand to really do my research into the medication and what those um, adverse reactions can look like. And I also try really hard to educate my patient really well so they know what to look out for as well because they know before nearly anybody else that something's going on. So um, knowing beforehand what signs and symptoms look like, also knowing how to contain, knowing my resources, knowing who I can call for help in a moment of crisis. Um, it's always better with a team to handle a situation. Um, and also, I think knowing what medications and what what routes to take if there is a problem, like maybe drawing back medication in the line or putting an ice pack on or giving Benadryl or something like that. That's a really thorough and thoughtful approach. Thanks for sharing that. Now, can you share your experience with triaging patients in a high demand oncology setting? Yes. So in my current um, clinic that I work in, we see anywhere between like 70 to 90 patients a day, I say. And we have um, three chairs at a time and we take a patient every 30 minutes as long as the chair is open. So it's really important to um, be quick, but also to be thorough. Um, I put a lot of emphasis on being thorough and being complete, but also being efficient. Um, I don't want to miss anything just because I am trying to go too fast. I am not one to cut corners um, on protocols. I like to follow things very exactly, um, but just knowing where I can save time is a really great tool for me. That's a balanced approach, being thorough yet efficient. Now, what is your approach to providing education about chemotherapy side effects to patients and their families? Um, this is an awesome question because this is one of the things that I am super passionate about in my approach to nursing. But I think, first of all, gauging where the patient's um, health literacy is at is really important. Um, learning or watching how they learn just with basic things such as explaining a blood pressure like high or low or explaining um, why they need to take pre-medications. I try to do those things and assess beforehand before I get into like the intense chemotherapy um, education. Um, so I like to assess where they're at and then I like to really take my time and um, personalize the personalize the teaching to each patient. Um, again, with this, I think that more education is better. I'm really, um, I support a, like an open-minded approach and 
let them know that I am super happy to answer any questions that they have. I think it's really important to take the time to sit down with them, get on their level, um, and answer all of those questions and also take away some of the scariness. It's really scary starting chemotherapy for the first time. So I just do my best to take away any of the scariness that I can to alleviate that and also to have them know their resources. So then if anything was to happen, they would know where to turn if they don't know the answer. That's a compassionate and patient-centered approach. Thanks for sharing that. Lastly, are you comfortable with the salary range of $76.74 to $103.61 per hour? Um, yes. Is this, does this facility support union nurses? I don't have specific information about union support for this role. Is there anything else you'd like to ask about that I might be able to help with? Um, I am wondering what the culture of the unit is like. Do you have any information on that? I don't have specific details about the unit's culture, but the role emphasizes critical care thinking, collaboration, and the use of oncology nursing procedures and guidelines. Is there anything else you'd like to ask about? Um, I think that is all my questions. All right. Well, those are all of the questions I had for today, Lauren. I'll write up my feedback and share it with the hiring manager. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us over email. Thanks and have a great rest of your day.